Hello, I'm Tactical Pascal. Welcome to the channel. I hope this finds you all safe and well. In this video, I'm going to show you how to low level bomb like a champ in the F5E Tiger in DCS World. If you fly the F5, you already know that when it comes to bombing, it can be a little bit temperamental, shall we say. There's no electronic aids, there's no CCIP, CCRP, all those good things that you get in a 16 or an F18, stuff like that. You've got to do it all manually. So you rotate the manual uh, knob round, you set the reticle depression, and then you guess. You guess where the bomb's going to drop. Now, what I've done is been practicing over and over and over again to get the right settings. So this video is going to show you how to make a low level attack run. And by low, I mean about 300 feet. And it's going to be using snake eyes. If you don't use snake eyes, you'll kill yourself. Because a Mark 82 released at two or 300 feet is going to blow you up as you fly over. You need the snake eye because those fins are going to deploy and slow the bomb down enough for you to make your attack run and get away nice and safe. Now, the method I'll show you isn't foolproof. It doesn't work 100% of the time. As you've seen at the start of the video, I only destroyed three out of the four targets. Now, this is because you've got to be almost exact. So you've got to be at the right speed, the right height, not climbing, not descending. It's got to be spot on. But with a little bit of practice, you can attack targets. And for this video, I'm going to be attacking five. And I think I killed three and damage one. Not perfect, but not too bad. Let's start our attack run. So we're going to come across to our weapon armament panel. We don't need to have the guns on, but if you want to leave the guns on for an attack, you just leave the uh, gun missile switch to the up position. But we're going to turn off our hard points for our missiles, so hard points for the missiles come off. Hard point for their centerline tanks come on. Now, we'll pause it there, go outside. Not centerline tanks, they're centerline bombs. So we have five snake eyes along our centerline. Now what we could do is set our stores to ripple and then obviously arm them with an interval. Now that's going to drop them all at the same time, but we're not going to do that. We're going to change it so it goes to bomb, so we're going to drop them one at a time. We're going to arm it nose. Now in the F5, unlike other jets, you can arm it nose, tail or nose and tail for the snake eyes. It doesn't really matter. Other jets you have to arm tail, but for the F5 it has to be the nose. Next thing we're going to do is get our sight set up. So we're going to change our um, selector switch here, rotate it around to manual. And then because we're going to be going at about 500 knots and at 300 feet, we're going to rotate our reticle to about 95. So we're all set up, ready to go. We're just going to start to increase our speed. And then we're going to descend down towards the target. Now, of course, anyone know that has the F5 will know uh, trimming it is a bit of a nightmare. So you're constantly trimming up, trimming down, trimming up, trimming down, and then you're adjusting continually. So we're now descending down towards the target. Let me just zoom in just a little bit on my uh, cockpit. So the weapons are armed. Our bombs are set to single. We've got our armament safe, our armament switch to the up position for the center line. We've put off the guns and missiles so that I don't have the sidewinder tone and of course the sidewinders are deselected. The interval doesn't matter because we're not dropping them as a ripple and the bomb is set to arm. We've got our reticle rotated to manual and the depression of 95 and up ahead we're heading towards the target. So we're trying to match our height here. We're trying to stay about 300 feet. Now that target is about 30 feet above sea level so we're going to be a little bit above 300 with the initial drop. So there's five targets. If we can get three that's a good success rate. And we're going to drop them individually. So pickle one, pickle two, pickle three, pickle four, pickle five. Zoom out and we see our bombs going in. So not a bad drop. Um, like I said, three destroyed, one damaged, the one, uh, the one at the front there I missed entirely. Uh, it happens. Um, I wasn't quite where I needed to be when I released the first one, but the rest of them got damaged. So not a bad target running on the F5. A lot of it is about practice. Um, it will be 
difficult initially, but keep practicing, get yourself to a training range, and away you go. If you do want to come and join Tactical DCS, the link is to the Discord below. We've got our servers, we've got our training server that runs 24-7. You're more than welcome to come along there and practice your bombing skills. As always, thank you very much for watching. If the video has helped you, please consider hitting that subscribe button, then that's going to help me. Also check out my good friends Juice and Tyro over at the Air Warfare Group for more lovely DCS goodness. Until next time, Tactical Pascal, out.